your why for life is important and it is not happiness. Article by Inelia Benz. I am presently working on a class on choosing our careers and daily work. As I opened my computer today, my browser popped a news item that questioned happiness as being the reason for your work. I had to smile because part of the course delves deeply into this particular aspect of modern society. A program of discontent that will keep you disempowered your entire life. The program is the pursuit of happiness. As I said with this part of the course, it became clear that this is something that we need to start educating ourselves about as soon as possible. So, here's an article about it. Read it, scan it for resonance, share your thoughts about it, and send it to your list, friends, relatives, and co-workers. And if any kids are in your life, do talk to them about this. Here is why this is such an important item for us to look at. In our lifetime, a great percentage of time is spent at work. Whether we work at home, from home, or at a different location, most of our day is spent doing it. A lot of people are dissatisfied with it, and when I ask them why, they say because they are not happy there, or they want to find something that they are passionate about. When I ask them what is it that makes them unhappy at work, they will list several things like people are nasty, or it's boring, or they prefer to do other things, the things they are passionate about, or it doesn't leave any time to do other things because by the time they are done, at the end of the day, they are exhausted. When I ask them what do they feel passionate about, Mostly they don't know because they haven't found it yet. Or they list items such as art, sports, music, writing, cooking, crafting, watching TV, sleeping, gardening and so on. The stuff that they don't get to do at work. When I ask them how much time outside of work they spend doing those items, they often say little or none. A few months ago, I talked about why it was important to stop looking for passion at work and start looking for work that included things you like doing. Also, to be aware that sooner or later, stuff at work was going to get hard. And when that happens, to know it's normal and just carry on working. What we like doing, just like passion and happiness, ebbs and flows. If you have them as the foundational reasons for doing your job, your foundation is going to be unstable and wobbly your entire life. There are other, more stable reasons for your work choice. Reasons that will keep you in a high-frequency state for your entire life. The course goes into those reasons and methods in detail, and I'm going to give you a quick summary here. But first... Let's continue looking at happiness as our why for life. It is in the American Declaration of Independence. Life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. There are volumes of work which go into the interpretation of what the word happiness means in the declaration. And also a lot of research on what the word pursuit means. In our modern culture, it is simple. Happiness is equated to instant and constant pleasure, or as close to it as we can get. We have developed a pleasure society, perfect marketing targets for consumer goods. Sell pleasure and you sell a happy life. Has it worked for you? Chances are it has not. And if you think, actually, my life is good, and yes, my base energy is happy, Chances are you figured out the true, satisfying and meaningful things that make life worth living. But let's go back to happiness. Happiness is also the ultimate reason 99% of people give me when I ask them why they want to manifest X, Y, Z. I want to be happy, most people tell me when I ask them why they want to manifest money, 
a relationship, a job, a house, a car, a bike. Most things, actually. Here is the thing. Happiness is an emotion. And like most emotions, it is something that is going to come and go during the day. So if you are basing your life decisions or teaching your kids to base their life decisions on what makes them or you happy, stop. And most certainly stop looking for something you are passionate about. Ultimately, life is not just about your personal pleasure. The world, Gaia, animal kingdom, plants and trees, bugs and reptiles, the sky, the ocean, the human collective were not placed here to give you pleasure. The pursuit of pleasure is a huge pastime among humans, but it most certainly is not what the founding fathers had in mind when they wrote the pursuit of happiness. In other words, happiness is a fleeting emotion not a solid destination. If you are familiar with manifestation theory, you'll have heard that happiness comes from within, not without, and that to manifest a happy life, you need to be happy inside first. And if you are happy inside first, what happens on the outside is irrelevant. Last month, I wrote an article about why is it a good idea for you to move away from the I, me and myself mindset and into the us, we and ourselves mindset. Ultimately, this is what will give you a fully satisfied and, quotes, happy life. You will be happy in the inside and the searching for and constant fix of external happiness will no longer be the basis of your life. Study after study, and yes, you can Google this, has shown that when we base our lives on the good of the community, family, group, planet, or the human collective, we go into a life filled with purpose and meaning. Make your why, your purpose, something larger than yourself. And by default, you will be satisfied and content with life. Life won't be filled with constant pleasure, but it sure will be satisfying and meaningful. Meaning is a construct. It is a very personal thing. Don't let happiness slash pleasure be the meaning of your life. So, last month, we had the exercise of stating, it is not about me when it came to situations, decisions, events, and people. This month, I invite you to look at the following sentences and see how it changes your perspective of the meaning of life and your base frequency in decision-making and engagement of life. This city is me. I am this city. This city supports me. I support this city, or town, village, neighborhood, where you live. This company is me. I am this company. This company supports me. I support this company, where you work. This family is me. I am this family. This family supports me. I support this family. This planet is me. I am this planet. This planet supports me. I support this planet. This country is me. I am this country. This country supports me. I support this country where you live. This government is me. I am this government. This government supports me. I support this government. This house is me. I am this house. This house supports me. I support this house. As you say the above, you'll feel the programs of separation that keep us in perpetual division and state of being conquered and enslaved. Be aware, conscious and sovereign, as you make your life decisions where you live, where you work, 
and what you do at work and who you live with. Free yourself. Find a why worth pursuing. If you like these articles, please remember to subscribe and click the notification button.